Let's briefly discuss what type annotations are in Python and what the advantages of using them. As the name already suggests, a type annotation annotates a variable with its type. So at the top you can see three arbitrary variables and if we want to annotate them with their type, we write colon and then write the type. So for the number we would add a colon and write integer, for the text we would add a colon and write string, and for the tuple we would write a colon and then tuple. It is worthy to mention that this list is not exhaustive. There are other data types such as floats, dictionaries, and so on. But moving on, you should also know that annotating types is not only possible for individual variables, it's also possible for functions. Consider for a moment the function my function. It takes one input value, which is the parameter, and to type annotate this, we can write colon and string. And we can also annotate the return value by writing a small arrow and then specifying the data type. In this case, the return value is also going to be a string, so we can simply write a string. So we've talked about variables and functions, and something that few people know is that type annotations also work with classes. So you can see here that we have a class called students, and we have an init method that defines the first name and the last name. Below that, we have created an instance of the class student, and we have called the student John Peterson. Now, one thing that we could say is that the first student should always be an instance of the class students. Therefore, it might make sense to type annotate it with the name of the class. So we can write colon students, and we have now type annotated the variable. So now that we know how to add these type annotations to our code, let's go ahead and talk about what the advantages are of doing that. The first advantage of using type hints is that your code is more self-documented. So others in the future who work on the same code are going to understand the code quicker. The second advantage that I want to go into is that the dropdown options are adjusted to whatever the annotated type is. So if you consider this function over here, you can see that there's a parameter and it is annotated with a type string. So if I go ahead and write a dot after the parameter, you can see that the dropdown menu is now giving me all the individual functions that are specific to strings. And of course, if I were to change the type annotation to integer, you would see that if I write a dot after the parameter, I get all the individual functions that are specific to integers. The third and last advantage that I want to go into is error hints. So you can see that I have a function called add and it takes two input values that are integers and it returns the sum. Now, if I go ahead and call the function, but now instead of passing in integer values, I make one of the values a string, you can see that I get this yellow outline. Now this only happens because I type annotated the input. If I take out the type annotation for the variable a, you can see that that doesn't happen anymore. So as you can see, the type annotation can also warn you of errors ahead of time. We're going to leave it here for this video. I hope it helped you out and see you in the next one.